Okay, we've, we've got three. We've got three doozies in store for you. The first one, I'd like to just have Chris back out on stage. And me and Chris had a band called Betcha Dooper, and we, we only got to play in, in New York once. Mind you, tune that, Chris. Yeah. And we, we played at CBGB's, unfortunately. Um, fortunately, not um, fortunately before it um, Close. bugged out. I don't know what happened, but it's not there anymore, is it? Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and it was fantastic fun, but we played to about maybe three people, and the, they were all on the support band. And the other people who were in the room were like these record company kind of people. It was like a showcasey kind of thing, record company. We, they'd flown us over, they put us up in some Philippe Stark designed hotel and wacky shit. And um, we played this show and we were really jet lagged and we had a really good time. And these people sat at the back of the room with their arms crossed and kind of went, how can we market this? <laughs> and they probably eventually decided they couldn't market it. And we're about to play you a song that will show you why they couldn't market it. <laughs> This is a song I, I wrote with Chris um, called Who's Coming Through the Window and it's, uh, it's good fun. I didn't play drums on it so I'm gonna be... Shit. Um, okay, okay. And it was, it, it was written actually uh, on that trip that we were in America and, and, and we were in LA. It was the end of our trip after we played at CBGB's and we... We were back in this hotel room in LA and this, this guy Brady, who now is a really good friend, this was the first time we met him. We did another showcase, this was very, very corporate. This was, you know, us trying to get a record deal. And that we, and we, uh, we did this other showcase for like Interscope and Capital in LA. And um, to our, you know, probably discredit, in the middle of the uh, show, showcase, we, we made a comment about how we didn't, we didn't have any pot. And how, <laughs> If anyone's got me pop, you know, we'd be really keen to have a session after the show. Didn't go down well. <laughs> Except for this guy Brady was in the room who'd snuck in, who owned this little independent label, who then now releases my live album, so what a good cut. He's awesome. And he's awesome. And, he and the first time us. I smoked his weed, I totally forgot who he was. <laughs> that point I forgot. Anyway, he came back to this hotel room with us and, you know, filled our desires and then started talking about politics. And this was a little while ago, this is actually the beginning of the Iraq war. And he started talking about everything and I, and I started freaking out. He started saying how North Korea had nuclear missiles that could reach Los Angeles. And I started having visions out the window of bombs going off and freaked the fuck out. And went back to my room and wrote this song with Chris's guitar wire. So there you go, there's the full story. I've never told that to you, America. <laughs>
I used to watch Betsy Duke play in, in Sydney, so I, I get a kick out of getting to see Betsy Duke sign. That's kind of how we bonded. Yeah. You come to the Betsy Duke shows and then get a stoned afterwards <laughs> and cook us food. Lucy, stop! Yes, it's true. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have before.